Hello friends. So in the previous session, we have just concluded our discussion on the AC machinery fundamental. So I told you from this session onwards, we'll be dealing with specific machines, okay, like synchronous machines and induction machines and transformers. So today let us start with the synchronous generators or called alternators. Now, uh, what is, let us take the first term, which is the alternator. All right. So why a synchronous generator or why a name comes as the alternator? Okay, now you basically know what are AC machines An AC machine will convert. Uh, so this AC generator, okay, it will convert input mechanical power into output AC power. Okay, and usually it is three phase. Okay, there are single phase alternators also available, but usually it is three phase. So why does the name alternator come? Okay, so why does the name alternator come is because any heteropolar, any heteropolar rotating machine, okay, heteropolar means which is having multiple poles, rotating machine with uh, alternate north and south poles are called as alternators. Okay, now the reason why they are called an alternators is because in the conductors if you see the induced voltage polarity alternates between positive and negatives right so in the conductors the induced emf the e induced alternates positive and negative okay so that is how the name alternator comes and how is that inducing positive negative because it is coming under different polarities at different point of time okay now remember we took a dc machine right so this was a north and south so i told you when you are having a construction like this where you are connecting the machine the dc machine to something which is called a slip ring like this construction okay when you and if you connect a some brushes here let this be one brush and this be the other brush and this is the load okay and if i start rotating the machine like this you will get an alternating voltage across the resistor okay so and uh, when you connected the commutator like this so this is the dc machine and when you connected the commutators and then you took out the uh, supply out of the brushes you are rotating it like this then you got a dc and here you had got an ac voltage so basically a dc machine itself is inherently an alternating current machine right because if you connect a commuted uh, slip ring the same machine works as a alternator and if you connect a commutator the same machine works as a dc generator all right so based on this actually the alternators can be divided into two okay the alternators can be divided into two First one is called the rotating armature type. Rotating armature type. So if you see this particular drawing here, this is the armature, right? This is the armature and this is the field. So in this, the armature is rotating. You are taking out the voltage using the slip rings. Okay. So that is the rotating armature type. Now, this is only usually used for low voltage machines low voltage machines or we can uh, better than using the word low voltage small smaller power output machines okay that's a better term smaller power output machines so we use the rotating type uh, armature type for smaller power output machines so another type is called the fixed armature type okay fixed armature type or so in this case the armature was rotating right so in this case in the next case the armature will be fixed and the field will be rotating okay so here it will be the rotating field type and in our ac machinery fundamentals we have been looking through rotating field machines why because these are mostly used for high power outputs which are found in the power stations okay for example the voltages range can be from 3300 volt to 66,000 volt. At this particular ranges, we never use rotating armature type. We only use rotating field type. Why? Because in the rotating armature type, you are using slip rings, right? So for smaller voltages, the contact between slip ring and brushes might not be a big problem. But for higher voltages like 3,300 volt or 66,000 volt, the contact between the uh, slip ring and the brushes will produce huge sparks. Okay. So in that case, it is better that you keep your armature uh, steady like this 
okay keep your armature steady all right and then you rotate your field okay you rotate your field and because this thing is not moving you can directly extract emf across the conductors okay so you <coughs> don't have to have a slippering type of an arrangement here okay so this is a basic introduction of what was an alternator and all those things the next test class let us start with the uh, name synchronous generator and why a machine is called as a synchronous generator so in this session we saw alternator the same machine is also called as a synchronous generator and let us see why it is called a synchronous generator in the next session all right so if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel if you have not seen the other videos there is a dc machinery module in the same channel also an engineering circuit analysis is present in the same channel and don't forget to check out the notes as well in my wordpress page so till i see you in the next video it's me varun signing off thank you and have a great day